On this tutorial you will learn how to do the blink dagger from Dota 2 to just blink to the enemy and let's go. At the first let's create a new folder that will be the items folder. Next let's do the new scene that will be the blink dagger and this will be a 2D scene. Let's change the name to the blink dagger and add a script to it. It will be the blink dagger script and it will be something like this. This code is for rendering a full circle in 2D, so let's use it and later I will explain more about these variables. So let's go to the player script, drag and drop our new scene to the player and now let's open our project and you can see the full circle in green color. Let's back to our script. We are using the draw function because it's a great place to use built-in function like draw arc, character, circle, line, mesh and so on. We don't use the draw circle because it's drawing only the full circle which is fulfilled with the color. So let's back to our function draw arc and we are using the parameters like position, so it's a center position, radius range, so it's a range from the center, the start degree which is 0 and next is a final degree so 360 will be a full circle and next parameter is very nice because it's a count of points that we are using for this circle so for example when we have 5 it will be something like this and when we are using the 100 points it will be a great circle Next is just a color. So now let's add a teleportation. So when the input is action pressed game mouse in for in my project is just mouse click. We take the mouse position from the get global mouse position and use this mouse position to get parent. So this will be the player. Set the global position to this get global position. And of course we have the condition that this distance from the mouse position to the get parent global get position need to be less than radius range. So ta -ra -ta -ta, we have working teleportation. Now let's attach this to the item. Let's go. As a first step in the player scene let's delay the blink dagger because we will add this by the code. In our HUD scene, in our script, we already have the function use this item on the pressed. So the first thing that we need is a player node reference that will be null by default. And here, if the player node is exist, use the function use blink dagger. So now we need to reference to the player node and also the function use blink dagger. So uh, let's go to the player script. For the ready function for the player script, let's add a reference to the player node to, to this node. So let's use the self. So using this line of code and the hat is on the auto loads, we will have the reference here for the player so we can use the player node to use the blink dagger after clicking the item easy right <laughs> i hope so so next let's add a function use blink dagger and fulfill it the logic for this function will be something like this the first line is a packet scene so it's a scene that we created you can just go here do the right click and copy path. So you will have the nice path for this load function. Next is a just instance for this packet scene. And let's add this as a child for this node. So the blink dagger will be added to the player. The last thing is just Q3 the, the blink dagger after usage. And now we have the working teleport. Blink and blink and blink here and blink here. The last thing that we can add is a particles effect. 
To do this, let's create a new scene that will be a where teleport effect, and the root node will be a CPU particles 2D. Change the name to the teleport port effect and make changes to this gadoo particles effect. To make a simple boom effect, let's change the amount of particles, will be 50, the explosiveness to make all the particles made on one time, change the shape to the sphere, it will be hmm, 5 is like nice arrange, turn off the gravity, change the ratio like 50 and now you can see you have a nice boom effect. Now let's do the one shot and we prepare the teleport effect. Let's also add a simple script to it. It will be only used for killing this node after use it. So let's also add a timer. It will be one second, one shot, auto start. Connect the signal to the script. Let's connect and just Q3 after this. And in the function ready, 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 steady, uh, let's do emission true to turn on the emission for this particle effect. So the plan is when it's ready, it starts emitting and the timer is going start and on the time out it will be Q3. So now let's use this teleport effect on the player. So we need the function use teleport effect and it will be something like this. The first line are very similar to the blink dagger effect so we'll have the scene and the instance for, for it. Next, let's do the teleport instance to the global position that we are on this moment. So we are taking the global position of the player and doing this to the global position of the teleport instance. But the teleport instance is added to the current scene because we don't want to multiply matrix from the player node and the teleport instance. So it's more safely to add just to the current scene. The last thing is go to the blink dagger, go on this moment here and just get parent so it will be the player for our example and use teleport effect and that probably all. Let's test it and you can see the particles effect. So thanks for watching, have a nice day. And also remember, remember that you can always find this code in the GitHub page. More in the description.